Hi, thank you, Ilya and Mariella, and all my new writer friends at uh, Merrick. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to read a lot of, um, I say a lot, that sounds scary, but they're very short little lyric poems from Storm, um, as well as a couple of poems from uh, Coliseum, which is a book that is coming out uh, right now. and. Um, has some other poems about ancient ruins and then more about New Orleans, the kind of unfortunate and easy uh, parallel to poems I had been writing about ancient structures that had been destroyed, like the Roman Colosseum, um, structures of sanctioned violence by ancient governments and things like this. And then I was living in New Orleans, which, um, as you know, was flooded and uh, not not brought brought back um, by uh, the government. The people there are trying to bring it back. Of course, I did not stay, but I lived there uh, at the time. And the first poem I'm going to read is called Beirut. And the reason I wrote a poem called Beirut um, is because my mother, in the early '80s, when I was about five years old, always talked about Beirut as the city that was uh, being torn apart and that uh, no one could get out of. And I just remembered this, this word when I lived in New Orleans as this kind of feeling like perhaps this was a similar situation and a word from my, my childhood. She also has the same transistor radio that she has had for about 40 years. So the radio becomes big in this book. Beirut. Ruin is a promise we make to each other. I am born the day Saigon falls and Lebanon takes to its own throat a club. On that day, southern soldiers tear their uniforms for the Saigon River to bear to open water. The lucky are in boats, their papers burnt into red locusts of no detail, a swarm of no birth, no party, in flight, in fall, back towards the river of garments, drenched of each frantic gesture that pointed to a cryptic sea. For two days, my mother lies flat with pain. The locusts have traveled far into her radio, their bodies cast with boat-shaped tips, while not even our fingers stay together to scull us from cities where salt water, years later, will pour up the neck of each great live oak. By transistor, she hears the fall of Saigon and Lebanon's night coins of bulleted light. The radio needs almost nothing to pick up the world, she says. She'll wake to it, she'll sleep, to it, she'll tell it what she wishes. As a child, I'll watch her turn the small dome of the dial in which many lives crowd to transmit the yellowing condition of each country's eye. Lebanon of limestone, Lebanon of sheep. For two days, my mother lies flat. On the third day, the goats of the Lebanese hills tilt their heads stop their feed, and here, an ancient city begin to break itself in half, and half again, and once more, until the halves are dust in which the olives will not fatten. Only echoes grow from the limestone as screeching birds carry what sounds are human to the white cliff to cry them out. A human cry lives many lives. The gulls are that fierceness made flesh. For 30 years, the people of my life lived. Then thousands around me drown. Saigon, Phuket, Beirut, your gulls flew over America and lent her your name. If it is as Socrates says that locusts were human, until they heard the song of the world and, so captured, forgot to eat and drink and died. And if it's true the gods took pity on the dead, 
enough to resurrect them into ashen singing things, then so too our songs will have to be plagues. Um, let me read a few poems that are the, the shorter lyrics that I was talking about that are in Storm. And they're mostly about, they're all about uh, New Orleans and trying to get out of New Orleans and then what happened. This is called Flea. When the transistor said killing wind, I felt myself a small noise. A call sign rubbed out, but still live where light cut through the floorboards. And don't you think I dreamed the light a sign? Didn't I want to cross the water of green beads breaking where one saw the other last? Where the roof was torn and the dome cried out that the tearing was wide and far? And this is not just a lesson of how to draw an X upon a house, how to mark one dead in the attic, two on the floor, didn't I wish, but didn't I flee? When the cries fell through the surface of the light and the light stated light, as if to say nothing, or what do you expect me to do? I am not human. I gave you each other, so save each other. Uh, tell us. This is about being in the car trying to get out and what was going on on the radio and people calling in trying to find out what was happening. Tell us the radio is coming in all over us. A caller asks what will be done for the animals of the zoo, the oil rigs at sea, the stranded of the dome. First, the storm will take all lanterns, all flags. It will begin at 600 hours, end at 1300, at which time your absolute nakedness, the barest accident of you, will stand before its organized eye. Therefore, ready yourself, but do not panic. You cannot be ready. This was a problem. Um, we would go to the TV and the mayor would say, we're about to have you know, our nightmare come true, basically, and there's going to be a lot of death and destruction, but we cannot panic. That was the language. And that's when you knew you had to panic, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> you know, if not now, when, I think is the phrase. Um, OK. Here's a, a poem called Vessel. We were hardly vessels. What we took in could not be, and so we spat it out. As dogs spit out the wretched fish, the only meat. We were not mules, though we put stores on our backs, half-finished stories, thin mothers in frames. We were never vessels. But I wanted so much to be and swallow and carry and bear and not have a mind to mind, nor a mouth to spit, nor a heart to tear into strips of weed from the sea. One of the uglier uh, conversations I had with a man on a plane was uh, after the storm, and this is what he said. This, I guess, is a found poem, which means you essentially steal the language and don't create it. So I created some of this, but uh, this is what he said. It's called He Said. He said that city needed a good cleaning, he said. My buddy, he's in the guard, he said. There were things going on down there the public doesn't even know about. What, killings, I said, of citizens, I said. Don't worry, he said, not innocent ones. You should have heard my buddy, he said. 